Tesla officially started Model Y deliveries in March of 2020. And although it's only been about a year and a half since its release, several significant updates and changes have been made to the Model Y even over this short period of time. In this video, I want to dive into all the changes that Tesla has made to the Model Y and all the improvements that they've made to the Model Y since its initial release in the spring of 2020. So without further ado, let's dive into the details. One of the first obvious changes that Tesla recently made to the Model Y was to redesign the center console. They replaced the original shiny fingerprint prone black piano finish center console with a matte finish version that now has two built-in wireless phone chargers positioned at the top of this new center console. As Jay Cano described on the Tesla Motors Club forum, in the updated center console for the Model 3 and Model Y, the USB 3.0 data port has been moved to inside the glove box. A second front USB-C port has been added. The two front USB-C ports are now located inside the center console lower compartment, the one with the sliding cover, at the rear of the compartment. The wireless pad is charged directly, not via one of the USB-C ports. The wireless charging pad is always visible with no hinged cover. The wireless charging pad does not flip up. With this new redesign, Tesla now also includes a USB 3.0 port in the glove box, which includes a removable 128 GB thumb drive to store your dash cam and sentry mode video files. Also, just as with the center console change, the control buttons on the door panels of the Model Y are no longer glossy, but are also matte black like the middle console as well. There's also another change that I expect to happen to the Tesla Model Y in the very near future, and this is to replace the existing door panel design with a new design that is now found on the Model 3. Earlier this year, Tesla changed the design of the front door decorative panels on the Model 3. With the white interior, they replaced the white accent panel with a black one and created a new white accent strip at the top of the front portion of the door panel that connects to the white strip design on the front dash. Alternatively, with a black interior, this accent strip matches the wood grain accent on the dash. It only seems to be a matter of time before Tesla makes this change with these new door panels. Another interior upgrade happened at the beginning of this year, 2021, when Tesla started including a heated steering wheel on the Model Y. Previously, a heated steering wheel was only offered on the Model S and X. Also in late 2020, Tesla made another change when they started using laminated double pane glass on the driver and passenger side windows of the Model Y. This new double pane glass is not only a great safety feature, but it also helps lower road noise as well. Previously, Tesla used a single pane tempered glass on the side window, which upon impact would break into small squares. However, this new laminated double pane tempered glass has two exterior glass layers with an adhesive layer in the middle. Upon impact, this new laminated glass holds together a lot better and can keep passengers from being thrown outside the vehicle and can also keep objects from coming inside the vehicle and hurting the passengers. Laminated glass is already used in vehicle windshields, but using it in the side windows as well is definitely a huge improvement, once again, not only for road noise reduction, but also for safety. This is a big improvement that is very easy to miss. Another important upgrade recently happened this summer when Tesla started including their improved HEPA filtration system, or what they call bioweapon defense mode in the Model Y. As the kilowatts reported on Twitter in July this year, New Tesla Model Ys are being built with bioweapon defense mode. This feature uses HEPA filters to provide hospital grade air quality. It's been standard in Model S, X for a while now, but this is the first time we're seeing it in a Model Y. Somewhat recently, Tesla also made another small change to the spray jets on the windshield wipers, including two spray jets on the wiper blade instead of just one like before, helping improve the washer fluid application to the windshield. Tesla also made another change sometime around the end of 2020 when they started including auto dimming side mirrors in the Model Y. According to this Drive Tesla Canada article, when the Model Y was first released in March, it was only equipped with an auto dimming rear view mirror despite the Model 3 coming with both previously. Now, when bright lights are detected behind you in the Model Y, these new mirrors automatically dim the reflection so you're not temporarily blinded by the bright headlights shining in your eyes. 
This is of course an important safety feature and can improve the safety of nighttime driving. Tesla also made some tweaks to the rear taillights of the Model Y as well. According to Drive Tesla Canada, all Model Ys manufactured after August 13th, 2020 now include new and improved rear taillights. The new rear taillights now include amber turn signals as opposed to the red ones that were previously used. While this may seem like a very small, insignificant change, it actually, according to NHTSA data, can actually improve the visibility of the turn signal and can help prevent accidents. In the first quarter of this year, 2021, Tesla also made an improvement to the Model Y's headlights, which now include a projector lamp in addition to the LEDs. According to various owners, this new projector lamp upgrade definitely helps improve nighttime visibility. At the Model Y reveal event, Tesla discussed four variants of the Model Y that would be available. A standard range rear wheel drive version, a long range rear wheel drive version, a long range all wheel drive version, and a performance all wheel drive version. Currently, there are only two variants of the Model Y available in North America, including a long range all wheel drive and performance all wheel drive version. While Tesla has not yet released a long range rear wheel drive model, Tesla did offer the standard range Model Y with an EPA rated 244 mile range for a very short period of time earlier this year. And almost as quickly as it was added, this variant was quickly taken away. When it comes to range and performance, the performance numbers of the Model Y have not changed. However, thanks to an energy density improvement that Tesla and Panasonic were able to make with the 2170 batteries, Tesla was able to increase the EPA rated range of both the long range and performance models. This energy density improvement that Tesla was able to make apparently allowed Tesla to increase the battery capacity without increasing the physical pack size, thus it added more range. Tesla has also been adjusting the prices of the Model Y a lot lately, and while they fluctuated a lot in 2020 as well, at one point you could purchase a long range all wheel drive Model Y for as low as $48,990. That same Model Y purchased right now costs $5,000 more. Also, the performance model has seen a $1,000 price increase from its sub $60,000 price sometime around mid 2020 as well. Another important change that happened somewhat recently is that Tesla made good on their promise and they now offer a third row option for the Model Y. In early 2021, Tesla made the third row seating option available for an additional $3,000, allowing the Model Y to sit up to seven passengers. However, it is important to note that while this third row is great for kids, it really is too small for most adults. However, nonetheless, it is a great option and I believe it will be useful for some people, especially those with small kids. The next change I wanna mention actually involves Tesla removing a feature instead of adding a feature, and this doesn't happen very much with Tesla. Recently, Tesla removed the adjustable lumbar support from their passenger side seats in the Model Y and Model 3. Do note that the adjustable lumbar support is still included on the driver's seat. Elon Musk explained this change in a May 31st tweet when he said, Moving lumbar was removed only in front passenger seat of 3Y, obviously not there in rear seats. Logs showed almost no usage, not worth cost, mass, for everyone when almost never used. Due to government regulations regarding EVs, Tesla was required to start adding pedestrian warning speakers to their electric vehicles. All Model Ys built starting in September of 2020 now have a pedestrian warning speaker installed that makes a slight whirring noise at low speeds to alert pedestrians that a car is approaching. Tesla also recently made another really bold change and that was to remove radar from the Model Y and also the Model 3 as well. Tesla was already one of the only major companies working on full self-driving cars that did not rely on the use of LiDAR sensors, but recently they took this to a whole new level by no longer including radar sensors in the new Model 3s and the Model Ys manufactured for the North American market. Instead of radar, they are relying solely on Tesla Vision, which is their camera-only based vision system. When it comes to how this is possible and why Tesla did this, Andre Carpathy recently gave a presentation, and I talked about this in a past video, but in this presentation at CVPR 2021, which is a virtual conference on computer vision and pattern recognition, he gave the reasons and shed some light into why Tesla removed radar from their vehicles. In Andre's own words, he said, the vision system that we have been building over the last few years 
has been getting so incredibly good that it's kind of leaving a lot of other sensors in the dust. He also mentioned, the cameras are doing most of the heavy lifting in terms of the perception that you see in the car, and that it has gotten to the point where we can start removing other sensors because they are becoming these crutches that you start to not really need at all. When it comes to a direct comparison of just how much better Tesla's vision system is as compared to what they were getting from radar, Andre said, vision is getting to the point where the sensor is like 100x better than say radar. Then if you have a sensor that is dominating the other sensor and so much better, then the other sensor is actually holding you back and is starting to attribute noise. Based on the full self-driving beta release videos that I've been seeing, this Tesla Vision approach seems to be working very well, and I have a lot of confidence that this will allow Tesla to reach full level four or level five autonomy without the use of radar and obviously without the use of LiDAR. The changes that Tesla has made to the Model Y are not only cosmetic, but there have been some structural changes underneath the vehicle as well. As you likely already know, the Model Y is built off of the same platform as the Model 3. However, while it does share a number of parts and has a very similar appearance, Tesla has made a very important improvement to the underbody structure of the Model Y as compared to the Model 3. The Model 3 rear underbody consists of roughly 70 parts that are all connected together to form the rear underbody structure of the vehicle. However, the goal with the Model Y was to combine these 70 parts into one large single piece casting. However, Tesla initially manufactured the rear underbody of the Model Y in 2020 in two cast pieces that were later joined together to form the rear underbody. And while even this two piece design was a huge improvement for the manufacturing simplicity over the old 70 piece design, Sometime around late 2020 into early 2021, Tesla made the switch to the single piece casting that now forms the rear underbody of the Model Y. This single piece casting drastically improves the simplicity of manufacturing for the Model Y, and eventually Tesla will also replace the front underbody assembly to a single piece casting as well when they incorporate the structural battery pack and the 4680 batteries into the Model Y 2.0 that will be manufactured at Giga Texas and also Giga Berlin. Another important change that I'd like to discuss involves Tesla's software updates. For Tesla's electric vehicles, they're constantly rolling out new software updates, which often add new and helpful features. While it would take too long to go through all the changes and all the updates to Tesla software, I would like to mention a few recent features that Tesla did add. Do note that these software features are not only included in the new Model Y sold right now, but this software update was made available to other vehicles that were sold previously as well. This is of course a huge perk for Tesla owners and is a huge advantage of being a Tesla owner. Tesla already included YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, and Twitch apps for streaming videos in your Tesla, but now with a recent update, Tesla has added Disney Plus to the streaming services list. Also, Tesla added what they're calling car wash mode, which they describe in the following way. Car wash mode closes all windows, locks the charge port, and disables windshield wipers, sentry mode, walk away door locks and parking sensor chimes. For automatic car washes with conveyor belts, the free wheel option shifts to neutral and prevents the parking brake from automatically applying if you leave. One last notable change that I'd like to mention is the Made in China Model Y. At the beginning of this year, 2021, Tesla started delivering the Made in China Model Ys in China, and they've also recently been exporting this Model Y production from China to Europe as well. Currently in China, Tesla offers three Model Y variants, the standard range rear wheel drive version, a long range all wheel drive version, and also a performance all wheel drive version. The standard range version is Tesla's most recent addition and features lithium iron phosphate batteries in contrast with a nickel cobalt aluminum chemistry that is used in the Model Y in North America. Localizing production of the Tesla Model Y in a very important vehicle market like China, a very huge market is of course really important for Tesla and sometime later this year Tesla should start producing Model Ys in Europe as well at Giga Berlin opening up another localized production facility in a very important market Europe. Now lastly I'd like to just mention once again and I've talked about this a lot in past videos and that's the Model Y 2.0 that will be coming in the future. This is of course going to be a huge step change for the Model Y 
and should bring some important updates. Tesla should start production of the new Model Y 2.0 with the front and rear castings and also the structural battery packs in just a few months at Giga Austin and Giga Berlin. Once we have all the updates for this new Model Y 2.0, when it officially comes out, I'll definitely post an update video comparing the Model Y now to the new Model Y 2.0. It will be exciting to see how it evolves from now until then. Well, I'd love to hear from you as well. Was there anything that I missed, any changes that I missed that I didn't discuss in this video? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.